a very couple. What a great sentence. Hello and welcome back. Once again, I am Chris Noosh and this is exciting because after about two weeks of working on freelance work and private commissions, I am finished with those. Uh, good news is I'll be able to share those at some point, but not quite yet. So what I'm, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to work on something that I started yesterday. Yesterday I sketched for a piece that I could put into this frame that I made the same time that I created the koala viking piece, the anxious warrior, right there. All right, so what I came up with sketching was, it's a, uh, I've kind of, I've kind of been really liking the works that I've done in the past that are animals as mythical creatures. I've done a raccoon, mainly I've done raccoons as mythical creatures. I don't think that I've done a whole lot of other ones, but I want to add more to that series. So I, I sketched out what could only be described as a walrus as a mermaid. Well, I guess that isn't that crazy. Both have flippers, both are very, very beautiful. Um, so I just thought this would be a fun piece to work on. And this week, I thought it could be cool to do like a, a, a walrus mermaid done two ways and kind of show the difference in how I create works for a carved and painted piece and how I create works to be printed on a t-shirt. Um, so I'm going to make this one a t-shirt design too. Fun, fun stuff. I think people will like it. I hope people will like it. Fingers crossed. So what I need to do now is I need to get that design that I just drew out onto this board so I can do a finished piece in this frame. So that is the first thing I'm going to do. Now, the biggest difference between these two pieces is that the one that's going to be framed is smaller and the one that's going to be for a t-shirt is larger, but it's not that small. It's about, I think it's eight and a half inches large. I've also, when I'm drawing this, the one that's going to be framed, I'm drawing it out the way that I've drawn it. And then the one that's going to be for a t-shirt block, I flip the image so that when it prints, it prints correctly. That's, that's the second biggest difference. And now they are all drawn out onto the block. They look good. You can see that, you know, the, the one that's for a t-shirt block is flipped while the other one that's going to be framed is the way that I sketched it out originally. I've got all the pieces. They fit in the frame well. So all I got to do now is carve out the blocks. I'm going to do the t-shirt block first because that is the biggest block and it's going to take me the most time so I don't get unmotivated to not carve it. Let's get carving. Today when I started carving this one was one of those days where I wasn't sure if I was going to remember or be successful in carving. The main reason for that is this piece of birch was a brand new sheet of birch that I had never, ever, ever carved out of before. And it's always hard to figure out how the birch is going to react. It all acts kind of the same, but there are like minuscule differences between each one. And I'm all, like, I don't know why it woodcut is one of those processes where every time I pick up my tools, I really feel like, like the magic of what's happening is going to stop working. And I'm just going to forget everything that I've learned over the past 15 years of carving. I, I am honestly afraid of that most of the times when I start working. All right. This one came out okay, and now for the tiny one. Yay, look at all those marks building up to create a finished piece. Bum, 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 bum. And it is Friday after two solid days of carving both of these blocks. They are both done. It's kind of interesting how different they each look. They're the exact same drawing. They're done at two different sizes and for two different reasons. Uh, one, the larger one is done for t-shirts. The smaller one is gonna be a carved and painted framed piece. Um, but they are done. On the, on the smaller one, I carved out the scales of the mermaid tail. And the reason for that is because I'm gonna paint it. But for the larger one, 
I left it black, and the reason I did that is for uh, contrast for when it prints, so that there's just uh, an area of large black, and I think it's gonna look better that way anyway, because I'm not gonna paint it, and it's not gonna have color added to it. So it's one of the big differences. I have a handful of things that I need to do today. I've got to, number one, paint this walrus carving, so I can ink it. And then I have a couple t-shirts to print, and a very couple, it's like three or four maybe. Um, a very couple. A very couple! What a great sentence. And then the last thing I need to do is I want to see this walrus printed on paper. So I'm going to pull uh, one print of that on paper as well. All right, let's get to work. Let's start painting the walrus with the mermaid. You know what I'm going to call it? I came up with a name for it. It's very unique. I'm going to give you three seconds to guess for yourself what you think I'm going to call it. I'm calling it the wall made. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you have a better name, let me know and I'll change it. But for now, it's the wall made. And here's a little B content specifically for Mary and Max who celebrated their marriage last weekend. Congrats, guys. He looks very confused because I was calling him over to the camera. Must pet him now. Hi, B. Hi, B. All right, a little chin scratch. Okay, chin scratch. Look at them eyes. Hey, B. All right. And now B and Marty are going to fight. Schlep. Do you see what she did to me? I didn't really have a plan of attack when I went ahead and started painting this one. I usually paint all of my walruses pink because in my noosh world that I've created over the past 10, 15, 20 years, it seems like all of the walruses that I've painted have been pink. So I went ahead with that one and built the colors around that. You know, the mermaid tail being green is pretty... Uh, pretty common in my world as well so I kind of just went with those two colors I did want the environment that he was in to feel uh cold so I used once again cool colors to create the background going from like a, a somewhat bright blue from the bottom of the mountains to the top of the sky and then some gray mountains the cool thing about this piece is for the water I painted it like a silvery icy cool gray um, it looks really cool in person. It kind of just looks white in this video, but it looks really cool in person. I think it came out pretty good. And now to enjoy the inking video. One of the things that I really like about this piece, like I said earlier, is how the water, I don't know that it really shows up in this video, but the water is like a pearlescent, silver, gray, cool, cold water feel. And I really think that works pretty well on this piece. Um, and then how it all came together, it's just a small, nice, fun piece. Everybody wave at the wall made. All right, so now that I'm finished with the, uh, the carved and painted piece, I'm going to start, uh, I'm gonna print the t-shirt block that I carved on a sheet of paper. I've got it all set up on the press and all I need to do is line it up, ink it up and run it through. So first let's lock the paper underneath. And what I mean by that is I'm gonna lock it up underneath the roller so I can easily, when I go to print it, just slide it under and not worry about it messing up. So. Slide it underneath. Oh, I forgot to set the press. Speed up. Dun 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 bum bum. All right, so now the press is set. Now we can run it through. All right, let's get to printing. All right, now we just lift the paper up, up. Put put it on the uh, little outline that I've drawn out. Match it up. Should be pretty easy and then slide it through the press.
And now let's take a look. Doesn't look half bad, I like it. Came out pretty good. All right, now let's print some t-shirts. I had a lot of doubles in this set. I had two of the sugar skulls with the rats and then two of my favorite prints, Teamwork Makes the Dream Works, this frog stack one. It's always a fun print and I love printing it. Followed by this Pachycephalosaurus and the porcupine playing the guitar. All right, so that's all I have for you this week. We printed some shirts. I carved this piece for t-shirts. And uh, I also made another version of this, a carved and painted framed piece with a couple different layers. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it this week. I'll see y'all later. Thanks. Bye. Bum, ba, da, dum, bum, bum, bum. Do you like all my new sound effects I was recording this week? All right. Bye.